Ramos, death at Mach 3, three seconds. That's all the warning defenders get before impact. No modern air defense system can reliably intercept it. No hardened bunker guarantees protection against its terminal velocity dive. The Brahmos, India's crown jewel in precision strike warfare, represents the culmination of Indo-Russian military collaboration that has fundamentally altered the balance of power across the Indo-Pacific theater. This ramjet-powered supersonic cruise missile doesn't just strike targets, it obliterates strategic calculus. Skimming just 10 meters above terrain at Mach 3 speeds, Brahmos exploits a critical vulnerability in contemporary warfare, the reaction gap. By the time radar operators confirm detection, the missile has already traversed kilometers of additional distance. Defense planners call this the track-to-intercept nightmare scenario. What truly distinguishes Brahmos isn't merely its hypersonic velocity. Its 200-300 kilogram warhead delivers devastating kinetic energy equivalent to nearly three tons of TNT through sheer velocity alone before explosive detonation occurs. Naval variants punch through warship hulls with such force that the kinetic impact alone can cripple vessels. The missile's recent integration across multiple platforms, Sukhoi-30 MKI fighters, stealth destroyers, and mobile land batteries, has transformed India's power projection capabilities from defensive to offensive posture. Defense analysts now acknowledge India possesses the region's most sophisticated conventional strike option, with ranges exceeding 450 kilometers. A new chapter emerges with hypersonic Brahmos D second development, promising Mach 7 plus capabilities that would render even next generation defensive systems obsolete. Military planners worldwide now confront an uncomfortable reality. In the age of Brahmos, traditional defensive doctrines have become dangerously inadequate. 